From the cross comes out glorious blood and water, the source of life, the very life of God, which is now shared with men and continually given to his children. Every day, at every instance, in all the altars around the world, the supreme sacrifice of the cross is repeated in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Against the global threat on life, the celebration of the Eucharist is our most powerful antidote. Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Two thousand years ago, our Lord established his earthly throne in the Eucharist. The Prince of Peace had willed to reign in that humble, hidden, unassuming form of bread, so man may not fear his glory. Instead, freely come to him. Yet two thousand years hence, man still fails to recognize his king. No wonder. Peace has been so elusive, and it will remain so unless the whole world recognizes the sovereignty of the Eucharistic King and render him homage before his throne. Unless man start living the Eucharistic life that he has been called to. Saint Peter Julian Amart, the great Eucharistic saint, has rightfully said, the spread of the Eucharistic Kingdom of Christ is necessary for the salvation of the society. The Eucharist is the life not only of individual Christians, but of nations as well. The Eucharist is not only for personal piety. It is essential to social life. It is the very life of the world.